the 25 year old Andre Palante who has been as a starter pretty consistent for the Cardinals this year. Andre started off in the bullpen but he's come back very strong way better as a starter than at, out of the bullpen. He missed upstairs a fastball Otani and his base stealing threat are on first. Well, bet standing in from the right side a 310 batting average. Otani runs throw down to second base and there is number 36 for Shohei Otani in the stolen base category. 3 1 pitch in the air left field side Donovan is back and he is there to make the catch Otani will take another 90 feet. Mookie Betts did not miss by very much there's one away infield comes in now for Freddie Freeman there is a gap on the left side of the infield and he shoots it through just to the right of second base with the infield in an RBI for Freddie Freeman and a one nothing Dodgers lead. We went over this exact scenario earlier he said man when they pull that second baseman away from the second base bag I look out there he goes all I have to do is hit a ground ball up the middle I can do that in my sleep that's how good a bat control Freddie Freeman has and Will Smith is the batter with Freeman at first now this is more like it for Pallante to top throw for Arenado he got it to second and that's all they'll have here is Lux he has raised his average all the way up to 251 strike three very nice curveball the Dodgers Draw first blood. Well, Bobby Miller is starting today because Tyler Glasnow reported mild elbow soreness after his bullpen session Wednesday. Glasnow did not want to go on the IL, Jason, but the Dodgers are taking no chances. All of the pitcher injuries in the IL stints that have been this year. Mookie Betts on the run. He lays out, and Mookie Betts makes yet another dazzling play. He is truly unreal. Mason Wynn can't believe it. It looked in person like, oh, that's that's not a catch. You don't think? I don't think so. You think it caught some I think turf? that ball's got some grass stain on it. And on second look, I would say that was a catch by yeah. Mookie Betts. The glove was just underneath the tip of the baseball, and he was able to hang on. But a supreme effort for Betts. The one-out swing, and this ball into the outfield for a base hit for Alec Burleson. Cardinals first hit in batter number two. Wilson Contreras 259 hitter. There goes Burleson. Good pitch to throw on and no time to do it. Will Smith really didn't have much of a chance. Burleson swipes his eighth bag. And he swings and misses but the ball gets away from Smith and advancing the third base is Alec Burleson. The Cardinals now have a runner at third and the infield is in on the other side. So a little payback here for the top of the first. 2-2 two -two in the air for right center field. That's down and we are tied at one. Contreras drives in Burleson. And that was a hanging curveball from uh, Bobby Miller. Maybe that's why he's throwing the hard stuff because the curveball may not be there. It could be. So Contreras aboard for Brendan Donovan. Contreras takes second base, so another base on a wild one. Two wild pitches in the inning. But this is kind of their nightmare, I would say. 3-1 lifted center field straight away. Kevin Kiermeyer outstanding out there, makes the catch, and the throw is good enough. Really good. Almost right into the glove good. It did bounce away, but no advancement from Contreras. And Nolan Arenado is up. Kiermaier again fighting the sun this time he's able to make the play and he had uh, a busy inning here. So his second stolen base of the night is 37th of the year and he's now in scoring position in case you're wondering Freddie Freeman is hitting 287 with runners in scoring position swing and a miss and down on strikes he goes. And so now the Cardinals can step back just a bit with two out in the inning and that brings up Will Smith. There's another pitch and Will Smith pops this one in the right field. There's Lars Newtbar. He's there taps his. Shin with the glove and he makes the catch for the out one and one to the Cardinal shortstop Mason Wynn. So the opening pitch of this sequence as that's the third pitch in for a base hit Mason Wynn has a one out single and that brings up Alec Burleson Burleson singled his first time up well the hitter can't sit to 2 0 fastballs on you all the time as he did there that ball's charged deep to right field way back there and gone he was loaded up for it and he doused it. I mean, he turned on that pitch and it left as quick as a hiccup. Uh, I love the uh, line drives off the bat of Burley 
And he now has 70 RBIs to lead the Cardinals. And Newbar will advance on another wild pitch. Three the third them. wild pitch of the night by Bobby Miller. Runner leads at second, the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck out Goldschmidt on a changeup. Well, that changeup worked. That brings up Nolan Gorman. Another pitch to Gorman, and he turns on a pitch and hits right to Freddie Freeman. He steps on the bag at first, and now there we have two out, but the runner advances to third. That'd be a large new bar, and that gives Victor Scott a chance to drive in a run. Swinging a ground ball right side, diving stop to his left. If by Gavin Lux, he gets up and throws him out. Good play by Lux. Shohei Otani to bat. That ball's crossed the right field, way back there, and he lights this one up. Shohei Otani goes deep. It's three to two. Home run number 38 for Otani. What are you laughing? 112 miles per hour off the bat on the pitch. Did you see where it was? Was it was it below the knees even? He just went down and got it. Special talent. And now Bobby Miller facing Mason Wynn, top of the order up for the Cardinals. That ball's cracked to center field. Kiermaier back at the track of the wall. He jumps and he cannot make the catch. It's on to the berm, a home run for Mason Wynn. Kiermaier gave it everything. Of everyone in the entire Cardinals roster, the most improved player from last season, without question, is Mason Wynn. Driving the ball out to center field at Bush Stadium, that's not an easy thing. He came oh. really close. He got he got he got glove on that ball. Dave Roberts gets four and two thirds from Bobby Miller tonight. The Cardinals top of the order heard him. Ryan Brazier comes in. Two outs runner at third, Nolan Arenado to hit. The shortstop, very busy man, Miguel Rojas. And he does. And Arenado is out. One run on the home run. The Cardinals have a two out something going here with runners at first and second. And let's see what Brendan Donovan can do. Donovan has a single this evening. 2-0, lifted center field. Kiermaier charging and breaking it down to make the catch. Nothing across for the Cardinals. And it is uh, Nolan Arenado leading off the bottom of the eighth inning. Uh-oh. That ball's drilled. Deep left field, Arenado crushes this ball. What a sight for sore eyes for himself and Cardinal fans. The third home run of the game for the Redbirds, and it's 5-2. St. Louis. And that one left out of the ballpark in a pretty hurry, pretty good hurry. Nolan's home runs are starting to come up faster and faster, aren't they? Yes, they are. We should note, Freddie Freeman is out of the ball game. He's been switched out of the game. Today. Well, there was a play in the sixth inning right here. Ground ball by Nolan Gorman. This play, it got Freddie Freeman in the finger. And what I'm told out of the dugout is that his finger blew up. Now, no word yet on the extent of any injury here, but that is why he's out of the game. That play and his finger getting injured. And the major league leader in saves comes out of the Cardinal bullpen. Ryan Helsley got 37 saves, one out in the ninth, and the Cardinals only need two more. Two more outs would tie him for that record. As this is pumped to center field, Scott is back at the warning track, and he squares up with out number two. Gavin Lux steps to the plate. See you later. It's a slider. Game over. 5-2 Cardinals break their five-game losing streak. The Dodgers now losing 5-2. See a half game whittled off their lead in the NL West. The Padres are two and a half behind. This is the blueprint for St. Louis, what we saw today. Yeah, we saw some slug. We saw the starting pitcher go seven strong innings, and I think that's the blueprint for any win.